Hello, I'm Jim Glenn. I'm a technical writer with Microsoft Online Services. Our support team gets lots of questions about how to use a mobile device with Exchange Online, so I thought I'd put together a quick video that shows you how to do this. Microsoft Online Services supports Windows Mobile Devices uh, version 6.0 and later. I'm creating this demo using the Windows Mobile 6.1.4 emulator, this little guy right here, which anyone can download from the Microsoft Download Center. I'm going to go through this process twice. The first time we'll show you how to set this up on a brand new phone that has never received Exchange email before. The second time we'll demonstrate how to change from an existing Exchange mail system to Exchange Online. One important caveat before I get started, the details of this process will probably be different on your device because of uh, version differences or different implementations by the various uh, device manufacturers. So back to our screen, on the left is the Connect a Mobile Device to Exchange Online Help topic. There are two parts to this topic. The, we're going to skip the first part because the emulator does not have an existing relationship with an Exchange server. So we'll begin with to set up a Windows Mobile 6 to connect to Microsoft Online Services. <clears throat> So in the uh, emulator, we are starting with the Windows Mobile Today page. We tap Start, and then we tap Programs, and then we go to Active Sync. And you'll notice that we already differ from the procedure. This is a technical writer's nightmare because it's not possible to provide 100% accurate information for all the different versions and manufacturers. However, this procedure does contain the information that we need. It tells us to provide the server, server URL, my username and password, and that we will require an SSL connection. So in this case, we very carefully read the instructions and we click set up your device to sync with it. And that presents us with the screen where we enter the email address. And in this case, I'm going to use your name at Microsoft Online com and I'm going to deselect the attempt to detect and exchange server settings and click next okay in this section it's asking for the server address and this is covered down here. There are different server addresses depending on which data center your company is connected to. So we have one topic that lists the various data centers. Here is that topic. And I am in Redmond, which is in North America. So I look for the mobile device URL for North America. And I see that that is HTTPS S colon whack whack red zero zero one dot mail dot Microsoft online oops dot com and I leave this check box checked because we do require an SSL collect connection. Click next and now I'm providing my e uh, username and password again. I provide my username as in my email format. So again, it will be your name at Microsoft Online dot com and my password And you'll notice that the domain field is grayed out and not accessible. That's because we've already provided the domain as part of our username above. And I'm requesting it to save my password. I click Next. And at, on this screen, I, dis, I uh, indicate which uh, data sources I want to synchronize with. And I'm going to synchronize all of them. And so now I click Finish. Because this is an emulator and isn't actually connecting to Exchange Online, I will receive this error message. And for the purpose of this demo, I'll just dismiss it. And we can now assume that our uh, emulator or online device is ready to connect up to Exchange Online. So now that this emulator is 
connected to Exchange Online or has established a relationship with Exchange Online, I can demonstrate the other portion of the process, which is to delete an existing relationship with Exchange Server. So I'll go back to the starting screen and I will select Programs and Active Sync. And now I go to Menu and choose Options. And I select the Microsoft Exchange node and select Delete to break this relationship. And there's a very important error message which I read and then I agreed and say yes. And now I'm back to that initial startup screen and the remainder of this procedure is exactly what we went through the first time but I'll repeat it one more time to make sure that you've got it. So I'll click on set up your device. I'll enter my email address your name at microsoftonline.com. Deselect this checkbox and then click Next. Provide the server address, which is HTTP, oops, HTTPS colon whack whack. softonline.com. It does require an SSL connection. Click Next and enter my username again. Your name at microsoftonline.com. Enter my password. And save my password and click Next. Select which services or which uh, mailbox items I want to synchronize and click finish and for the purposes of this demo I will dismiss the error message and we are now good to go. I hope that was helpful.